All right, have a really exciting enhancement to flow. We finally have, uh, thanks to a really nice action uh, created by Narendra Singh, a, the ability to import data from a CSV text file, uh, that means from a spreadsheet, into flow and use it to create records. And this is all it takes. What you're looking at is there's an upload screen where you pick the file you want to upload, a brand new action that converts that into whatever kind, a set of records you want, and then we just save those into Salesforce. So let's watch this in action. Here I have my uh, org. I have no accounts at this moment, uh, but I do have uh, this little file here so I've, I've got and it's in in kind of classic fi format what you need to do is you need to have the names of the fields in this first row and if you have custom fields don't forget to use the underscore underscore c that's part of their api name so the first row's got the field names then i've got the data so we've got this data and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, download it as CSV. And now we're going to run. And now let's run. And you can see that what we're using here is the standard file upload screen component. Here I'm uploading the file. It's done. It gets passed to an action when I click Next. That's completed. It was almost instantaneous. And now let's refresh this screen. Boom. There we have some accounts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a closer look at what's going on here. So I mentioned this is the standard file upload component right from here. What the file upload component outputs are a set of record IDs of type content document ID. So if we click on this, you'll see that I am taking the output of the content document IDs from this upload process, and I am putting it into a, a resource called uploaded content IDs. And then I'm passing that into this brand new convert CSV file to records action. So that's how we're getting getting the data. One little annoying side note is this file upload requires a record ID. If you notice, there were no records involved in the process I just went through. We still have to somehow provide a valid record ID because this file upload was optimized for use cases where you might want, where you want to be uploading documents and associating them with records. It's a great use case. Not what we're doing here. Uh, so you have to find some poor dumb bastard of a record uh, so that you have an ID to provide and uh, basically get file upload to work. We then promptly never ever use this rec related record again. So that's what's going on in this screen. Now this action, this is one of the new actions that are enabled by the recently added ability to create actions that work with any collection. Uh, and those actions have this, this sort of preliminary stage where you have to specify, well, this time I want it to be accounts because we know that that CSV file this time has account data. The next time you might be uploading a bunch of opportunity data. So let's recreate this just so you can see the process. I drag in this action and name it. And then the first thing you'll see that my, my inputs aren't visible yet because with one of these kinds of actions, this is, you'll see this in other things like the collection action uh, package of extensions. You got to pick the action. In this case, there's only one dynamic action and that's the output collection of records that this is going to generate from the CSV. So I know that that spreadsheet has account data. Flow doesn't know it yet we have to 
specify that here. We actually specify it in two places. We specify it here at the sort of object setup level, and then we actually pass it in here as well as an input parameter. A little duplicative, a little unnecessary. Uh, we'll, 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 we're working on refining that. Uh, so we've specified a count in two places, and now the only thing that's left is to map the output from that file upload to this action. Note that you can pass a single ID, uh, single content uh, document ID, or you can pass a whole list. And that file upload outputs a list because it's capable of taking multiple files at the same time. So let's turn this on and point it at that variable where we output the data that we up from the uploaded uh, uploaded files. So we do that right there. And then all we're going to do is save the accounts that we've just created. Uh, and so we are going to do that with another collection variable here. Here's generated accounts. So, so I'm going to manually output uh, the accounts that are created here to this collection variable and then I'm going to pass that into my create records and we're in pretty good shape here uh, let's verify that this works by running it we expect to see some duplicate records because I'm taking the exact same sheet and importing it again so let's refresh here and there you go so uh, very cool uh, new package that uh, you can add and uh, hope you enjoy it